going today I've got my most anticipated movies of 2018 list after talking about my least anticipated movies now there are a ton of movies coming out this year that I really want to see so I hope that I've had plenty of them coming on this list for at least the majority of movies that I want to see and I know there are plenty others uh, I also want to see as well so uh, without any further ado here is my number 13 most anticipated movie of 2018 and it is for Mission Impossible 6. Now I have been a fan you know on and off with these Tom Cruise led films as Ethan Hunt and yeah the Rogue Nation movie kind of you know was up and up in the air for me but I I am kind of looking forward to seeing what new mission he could possibly be going on, how many more stunts can Tom Cruise possibly do by himself, and also the fact that uh, I just want to see what was the big deal with having Henry Cavill keep his mustache and not have it off for the Justice League reshoots, which I know pissed off a lot of people considering what had happened with that movie. And this movie, I'd like to see even his character and what he can do. And, you know, the whole gang returning, it'd be really nice to see just exactly what the heck is going to happen in this film. For my number 12 most anticipated movie of 2018, it is for Tomb Raider. Now, I know a lot of you guys gave me a hard time for how I treated the trailer and, you know, how that whole thing was. And yes, I know that this movie is based off of the video game and not the Angelina Jolie movies. And I have watched the trailer a few more times and, you know, every single time I do see something else that I'm kind of digging about it. So maybe I was a little too harsh about the movie. But, and I still said that I was going to see it in the end either way, even if there were some things that maybe I was nitpicky about, but either way, I uh, would like to see Alicia Vikander's take on this character, so uh, we'll see if it's going to be as badass and action-packed and intense uh, like we know uh, this franchise to be. So... Uh, I might get a little bit more excited when even another trailer comes out. For my number 11 most anticipated movie of 2018, it is for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, this was a movie that I gave a perfect score to because uh, I just love Paul Rudd as this character and I thought it was very different and of course uh, adding another hero to the Marvel Universe and now that he's got his sequel, with uh, Evangeline Lilly's character, who is going to be the Wasp and donning the Wasp costume, I think will be really cool to see what else is going to happen uh, in this movie and even adding some DC uh, Films uh, alumni, uh, Lawrence Fishburne and Michelle Pfeiffer, I think will be really cool to see in this movie as well. And just, you know, seeing yet another Marvel movie. Uh, added to the roster. Now for my number 10 most anticipated movies of 2018. It is for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and this is the Jurassic World sequel that you know I am looking forward to seeing because you're also bringing in Jeff Goldblum from the uh, original Jurassic Park movies and uh, I just I can't wait to see what's all going to happen because uh, you know, it all goes uphill from here, but then it'll slowly go downhill, especially when certain dinosaurs are coming into the mix. But I think it'll be really cool to see because I was a fan of the first Jurassic World movie, and I just saw it recently, and I also uh, loved it even that time when I got to see it again. For my number nine most anticipated movies of 2018, it is for Pacific Rim Uprising, and this is the Pacific Rim sequel that is starring John Boyega, and he plays Idris Elba's son, and I think it'll be really cool to see uh, more Jaeger versus Kaiju fights, and I think that uh, this movie is going to be equally action-packed, and 
you know, have everything that I liked about the first movie and then some. So I am definitely looking forward to seeing this movie when it comes out. So for my number eight most anticipated movies of 2018, it is for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and this is going to be a sequel all about Johnny Depp's character Grindelwald, who was revealed at the end of the first movie, and uh, we'll also get to see Jude Law playing a young Albus Dumbledore, so I think that'll be really cool to see, and seeing uh, more of what Newt Scamander uh, can you know, help out with doing, uh, you know, him being played by Eddie Redmayne. So it would be really cool to see the cast returning and just seeing more uh, adventures in this uh, Harry Potter universe. This is definitely a movie that I'm really excited to see. For my number seven most anticipated movie of 2018, it is for Deadpool 2. Now that's, you know, a movie that I also love the first movie of and Ryan Reynolds who plays the central character I thought did a really good job he was absolutely hilarious and he definitely fits this role even though they kind of butchered his character in X-Men Origins Wolverine but I would really love to see uh just how much how many more shenanigans he could possibly get into and you know other characters that are going to be introduced here Josh Brolin and his cable will be really exciting to see and uh just I don't know much else about this movie other than it's going to be really cool. For my number six most anticipated movies of 2018, it is for yet another comic book movie and it is for Avengers Infinity War. Now this is the movie that everybody should be excited to see because everything from starting from phase one with the Marvel Universe, all those movies leading up to this is the reason to see this movie because the stakes have been raised and you know Thanos is finally showing his true colors and I am just looking forward to seeing this big epic battle with all of the Marvel characters coming out trying to defeat this big bad of the MCU and it's just gonna be really exciting and I might actually shed a tear this time so <laughs> Uh, it's another reason for me to see this movie when it hits theaters. Now for my number five most anticipated movies of 2018, it is for Incredibles 2. Now this is a highly anticipated movie by Disney and Pixar and uh, one that a lot of fans will hopefully get more excited to see because, you know, it was such a cool superhero film that, you know, was all about the family dynamic and seeing how that all sort of plays out and I really liked uh, you know that aspect of it and uh, just seeing you know what is in store for them in this upcoming sequel so it'll definitely be really interesting to see uh, what else is going to happen who they are going to face in this movie. So for my number for most anticipated movie of 2018, it is for Ready Player One. This is a movie that is based off of a book and is directed by Steven Spielberg. And by the first trailer, I was really impressed by the visuals and even seeing all of those uh, little nods to certain characters and other film franchises, I thought it was really cool to see. And yes, that is intentional because of the whole sort of virtual reality feel of the film. And I am hoping to see it in 3D just because I think that whole thing will look really cool because you feel like you're actually in this virtual reality world and there's an even bigger quest involved. So I think that's also really cool. Um, I should definitely uh, read more about this movie uh, and find out, you know, exactly, you know, what is at stake here. So for my number three most anticipated movie of 2018, it is for yet another comic book movie, and it is for Marvel's Black Panther. Now, I am really looking forward to seeing this movie. Every trailer that has come out, I've been really excited, and it really gets me pumped up to see Chadwick Boseman as this character, who we first saw introduced in Captain America Civil War, and I was really a huge fan of his. Just can't wait to see, you know, how much more badass he can be on screen because his character just looks so cool and awesome. We'll see how this will 
uh, be yet another solo film before we get to see him again in Inve Avengers Infinity War. So uh, it'll just be uh, really neat. For my number two most anticipated movies of 2018, it is for Fifty Shades Freed. Now, a lot of you might disagree. You might have this movie on your least anticipated movies list because, you know, you might not have been a fan of the franchise. I actually read the books, so I've been pleased with, you know, how they've handled the movies and uh, having uh, everything sort of feel like it's coming right out of the book pages. I do uh, like the direction that this movie is going in and, you know, I guess I can also say I'm glad to see it ending in a way because uh, at least I know how it's going to end and uh, it'll just be really cool to see how this sort of all unfolds on screen. For my number one most anticipated movies of 2018, it is for Aquaman and this is a movie that comes out December 21st directed by James Wan starring Jason Momoa as this central character who we had previously seen in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Justice League and now he's getting a solo film and I'm really excited to see it because it has such a great cast and uh, it'll just be really cool to see uh, his character get more screen time and, you know, I was a fan of his character, so uh, I can't wait to see more of his story. And, you know, maybe he won't be such a joke to people if he hasn't already. Because I think, you know, he's just, he fits the role perfectly. And uh, I just can't wait to see this movie. So that was my most anticipated movies of 2018 list. What do you guys have on your list for this year? And... As always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later.